This is Michael Ware. You're listening to The Morning Five, brought to you in partnership with the That Sounds Fun Network, with the support of the Center for Christianity and Public Life. Today is Tuesday, May 30th, 2023. Let's begin with scripture. We'll read from Romans 13 today. Let everyone be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, whoever rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted, and those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers hold no terror for those who do right, but for those who do wrong. Do you want to be free from fear of the one in authority? Then do what is right, and you will be commended. For the one in authority is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for rulers do not bear the sword for no reason. They are God's servants, agents of wrath, to bring punishment on the wrongdoer. Therefore, it is necessary to submit to the authorities, not only because of possible punishment, but also as a matter of conscience. This is also why you pay taxes, for the authorities are God's servants who give their full time to governing. Give to everyone what you owe them. If you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, then revenue. If respect, then then respect. If honor, then honor. May God bless the reading of his word. Well, friends, uh, I was feeling a bit under the weather. And so, missed a couple episodes, but glad to be back with you for The Morning Five. Uh, Since our last episode of The Morning Five, uh, we have a debt ceiling agreement in place between the president and the speaker. And now the work is getting Congress to pass this thing. The, uh, the, The agreement suspends uh, the debt uh, debt ceiling. Uh, it uh, includes some spending cuts and restraints. Um, we won't get into the weeds of it uh, here, except to say, you know, the sticking points moving forward uh, are going to be these work requirements for Poverty programs, specifically uh, SNAP, TANF, uh, and uh, Republicans have clawed back some of the funding for IRS enforcement, which is going to be an issue for progressives uh, uh, as, as they consider how they will vote uh, on this agreement. I continue to expect that it will uh, it will pass, but uh, look, we, we know Speaker McCarthy's um, uh, leadership has always been tenuous, and uh, there's a chance that uh, there's a chance that uh, a real real fight gets stirred up, and and uh, uh, Republicans uh, rebel on him for this one, but I. I expect that the deal will move forward and we'll we'll see how that unfolds this week. Uh, second news item uh, a couple weeks ago uh, we told you about the Turkey uh, Turkey's presidential election uh, moving into a runoff. Well, uh, President Erdogan has won re-election. He won with fifty-two percent of the fifty-two uh, percent of the vote against the opposition candidate, who had uh, about forty-eight percent of the vote, uh, and so Erdogan will continue to lead a Turkey, which is an important nation, especially now given its place uh, in NATO, given its uh, sort of uh, the, given the fact that it. Uh, is uh, at a, a critical geographic 
and cultural location between uh, the West, Asia, the Middle East, and Erdogan will continue to, uh, to, to lead that nation. Finally, in Texas, uh, the House of Representatives has voted to impeach the Republican State Attorney General there, Ken Paxton, uh, over allegations of illegal activities related to one of his political donors. Paxton will face a trial in the Texas Senate. All right, there's your news for the day. Let's close with Dallas Willard's rendition of the Lord's Prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today, and forgive us our sins and impositions on you, as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad, because you are the one in charge, and you have all the power, and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. All right, friends. Hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you tomorrow.